Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at Transformers Rescue Bots Optimus Primal. And, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Rescue Bots. It's a little kid show, and the animation's okay for a little show, and, you know, it, it's not a bad little show. It does take place during the same time and place as Transformers Prime, which is kind of cool. Bumblebee and Optimus Prime uh, make crossovers on the show. But this is something a little different. I happened to come across this guy um, yesterday. I made a trip to Toys R Us and was just kind of doing a Toys R Us video. And I, I just happened across this guy. I didn't know he existed. Apparently he came out last fall. Um, he's part of a rescan line for um, the rescue bots. And, well, they make him a Dinobot, which is really, really cool. So, on this rescan line, they, some of the bots, or I think all of them, actually get a new alt mode. Um, the helicopter turns into a jet, Bumblebee turns into a motorcycle, which is actually really cool. I wouldn't mind seeing a deluxe uh, Hasbro figure, um, standard figure for that. And Optimus Prime, I think he becomes an off-road truck with uh, knobby tires. And I'm not sure what the others turn into. Then there's this Dinosaur series. And, um, yeah, this is something special. I do like it. It is fun. It's obviously a little kid's toy, but that's okay. The fun in this just, I mean, this feels like a toy to me. It's cute. It's durable. It's big. It makes noises, and it entertains, and that's what I want in a toy. And I just fell in love with it. Absolutely fell in love with it. So let's take a look at the packaging. We'll get him out and take a look at the robot mode and uh, look at the alternate dino mode and see what we think. Uh, so, yeah, so here's the packaging. We have, um, there he is in his little Tyrannosaurus Rex type mode. Uh, now, I notice on the artwork, he has red on his little... Um, little hands there, but they're all silver here. And actually, I think it looks better all silver than the red, to be honest. Um, we've got the Transformers Rescue Bots logo. Uh, it makes 20 plus sounds and phrases, which is really, really cool. Um, it's an easy to do automatic conversion, which is kind of fun. And it comes with three AA batteries. So that's really nice. Uh, you know, this is not that cheap of a toy. This runs $35. But, um, for an Optimus Prime toy out of this line, uh, for the same size that has lights and sounds, it goes for $25, but it does not transform. So not only does this transform, but it also comes with about $10 worth of batteries. So I guess that makes up for the cost. I don't know. Justification, I guess. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. He does do a lot... So yeah, pretty cool stuff. He has lots and lots of... Uh... Well done, team. <laughs> well, this threat is now extinct. Ah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, so lots of cool stuff. He also has a drill gimmick, which is pretty fun. And what I like in the packaging, it actually has a little hole here uh, where that drill is at. So that's pretty cool. I do enjoy that. Uh, very nice stuff. 
Uh, let's see here. On the side of the package, we have a picture of his dinosaur mode. On this side, it's got the Roar and Rescue. Of course, we have the Optimus Primal. And then on the bottom of the package also has Optimus Primal. Uh, some pretty cool stuff. On the back of the package, here's what the back of the package looks like. Pretty fun stuff. Um, here's the bio. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Um, and then it shows you, he's just a, a simple conversion, which is fine. Um, these are the other Dinobots available. There's also the helicopter turns into a pterodactyl uh, that is not listed here. Uh, let's see. And then we have uh, the all the different dinosaurs. And for some reason, they got him as a jet, not a pterodactyl, which is really kind of weird. So the fire truck becomes a brontosaurus. Um, the police car becomes a stegosaurus. Bumblebee's a raptor. The bulldozer becomes a triceratops. And like I said, the helicopter actually becomes a pterodactyl, which is pretty darn cool. So let's get this guy out of the package and see what we think. All right, so here we have Optimus Primal out of the package, and he is pretty cool stuff. Another gimmick that he's got, he's got this dino chomping action when you play with the uh, smokestacks there. Uh, pretty cool stuff. His paint scheme, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a standard kind of Optimus Prime paint scheme. Uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of Transformers Animated with the uh, uh, windshields there. Uh, let's see what else. We've got the Autobot logo uh, in the Fire Rescue, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, overall, it's not too terribly bad of a sculpt of a figure. Uh, let's see here. Here's what he looks like on the backside, nice and clean. Um, they also have the Autobot logo there, although, unfortunately, there's a screw hole there. Uh, kind of nice little additive. Um, now, transformation on this guy is really, really simple. You just twist. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it one-handed. Uh, hang on. Let's see. Transform and roar out. I like it. Uh, to transform him back, there's a little button that you'll push right here, and he will spin around back into Optimus mode. Pretty cool stuff. He does have um, articulation. He does have uh, this will move. That's really more for transformation, but it does move. You also have this arm uh, on a nice clicky ratchet joint. Um, and again, it does move there. His hand doesn't really move, but that's okay. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I like how uh, it makes the transforming sound, and he talks when he does it. So that's pretty darn cool. So let's get him back into the dinosaur mode and really kind of check out the sounds and play action there. All right, so here we have him in T-Rex mode. And you also just kind of want to move these little T-Rex arms down there. You do have some articulation there. Um, pretty cool stuff. Again, I like the dino chomping. I mean, it's not a bad little T-Rex. I love the concept of blending the truck and the dinosaur together. That is a very, very cool idea. Um, you know, Bumblebee's a raptor, and they all have, they all have kind of these vehicle mixes in there. And I, I really like the idea and would like to see a more detailed version in another Transformers line. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, other details that are pretty cool. He's got, um, obviously the eyes are painted in. We've got blue paint here. He's got sculpted in nostrils, which is pretty neat. Um, he's got these big clunky teeth, uh, which I do like. It reminds me of the teeth on a, uh, a piece of construction equipment, like a, uh, a steam shovel or something to that kind of nature, an excavator, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool. I do like all the, uh, bars up around on the tail that looks pretty decent. Now, unfortunately, the hand is there, but keep in mind, it's a little kid's toy. Um, you've got the spot. I uh, like the diamond plating. is pretty cool on top of the head. This is where uh, one of the little humans uh, would ride. Looking pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Kind of walking.
kind of creepy breathing and sounds like hydraulics. Pretty cool stuff. I am digging him. Pretty neat. He does say... Oh, sorry buddy. <laughs> So pretty cool stuff. I am digging him. I think he's pretty fun. All around, I mean, it's a really clunky, durable toy. Um, the sculpt on it's pretty good. Uh, I do enjoy it. And again, I love the fusion of the robot and the truck mode, or the dinosaur in the truck mode. I think that's a great idea, and I'd love to see that explored more in other Transformers verse uh, figures. I think that's just a really, really cool idea. Um, yeah, so to get a size comparison of this guy, let's show you how he compares to a Voyager and Deluxe Dinobot from Age of Extinction. Alright, so here we have Optimus Primal with Age of Extinction Grimlock, a uh, Deluxe, or I'm sorry, Voyager class figure. And, uh, you know, obviously this is a, a tie-in line to go with the Age of Extinction movie that's getting ready to come out, which is, which is pretty cool. I do like that. Um, they're about the same length if you have the extended tail on Grimlock, but size comparison, I mean, you can't beat Optimus Primal there. He is just ridiculously huge. So let's see how he compares up to Scorn. Alright, so here he is next to Scorn, a deluxe figure from the Age of Extinction line. Definitely, definitely bigger. I mean, he is massive in comparison. He would chomp this little guy to bits and not even think about it. Um, so this is for sure a great big, fun, just goofy toy. I absolutely love it. I love how both gimmicks work and uh, both modes. Just really good stuff. Um, so let's take a look at him in robot mode one more time and get our final thoughts. All right, once again, transformation, so super easy. <laughs> Very cool stuff. Um, if you want to, you can kind of push this down to get kind of a blaster feel going on here. So the big question is, is this guy worth $35? Well, for the average collector, Maybe not. I mean, it does have a great homage to Beast Wars Megatron. Um, I would love to see a Robot Heroes uh, Megatron face sculpt added to this and repainted. That would look really cool. But if you have a kid, this is definitely something I think uh, they would like. It's big. It's loud. It makes noises. Uh, it's got lights. It's a truck dinosaur thing. It's big, heavy, and durable. Definitely a winner for the kids. Um, so if they've got a birthday coming up this summer, definitely something fun for them to pick up. Caked Out 83, this is for you, sir. Hope you liked it. And uh, if you guys like my videos, definitely subscribe. Um, thumbs it up, thumbs it down. And as always, look for more videos in the future.